Hi, I'm Phil at the Soundproofing Store, and today we're talking about acoustic mineral wool. We'll be discussing what it is, how it works, and how to use it. So what is acoustic mineral wool? Well, first of all, there are several different brands and manufacturers of mineral wool, the most famous being rock wool and earth wool. Mineral wool is made of a combination of volcanic rock and slag, which is a byproduct of other industries. The rock mineral is melted down at extreme heats and then spun into a fiber similar to sheep's wool. So it literally is wool spun from mineral rock. The wool is then formed into slabs, usually 1200 mil by 600 mil, and then cut into various thicknesses. The slabs are also formed into various densities, depending on how much wool is compacted into the slab. For absorbing sound, higher densities from around 45 kilograms per meter cube up to 60 kilograms per meter cubed work particularly well. Acoustic mineral wool also has very good thermal insulation performance. It is heat resistant, non-combustible, and mold and mildew resistant. How does acoustic mineral wool help for soundproofing? This is a good opportunity to help explain a common misunderstanding with mineral wool. Many people think that mineral wool itself is soundproofing, and by lining your wall, for example, with mineral wool, will block the sound. Unfortunately, this just isn't the case. Mineral wool doesn't have enough mass to really block sound. What it does is absorb sound and traps it inside. Now remember that sound is an energy. In fact, it's a form of kinetic energy. So when it hits the fibers of the rock wool, the wool converts the kinetic energy into tiny amounts of heat energy instead. And this is useful in soundproofing for absorbing sound energy that is trapped in cavity spaces. Now the problem with cavity spaces is that when sound gets into a cavity, it bounces around off the surfaces and echoes and amplifies, growing even louder. This is called the drum effect. It's basically how a drum or an acoustic guitar works. So by insulating the cavity space with acoustic mineral wool, the sound is unable to bounce around, it gets trapped in the wool, and therefore it can't echo and amplify. Now this won't block the original sound. So to achieve good levels of soundproofing, you also need to add more mass to the structure as well. But insulating the cavity first will improve the result. Now take this simple example. We have this cardboard tube to represent a hollow cavity space. Now if I talk down the tube, you'll hear that my voice comes out more echoey and amplified at the other end because it's bounced down the tube and echoed and resonated down to the other end. Let's give a little example. Hello, hello. Now, if I insert some mineral wool, and note, I'm not completely filling the tube at all. I'm just putting a decent amount in. And we do the same thing again. Hello, hello. Now let's take this example a little bit further. So here, we have a drum. Now this drum perfectly represents a floor to ceiling construction, with the drum skin on the top representing the floorboards, skin on the bottom representing the ceiling below, and the drum itself represents the cavity between the floor and ceiling and your joists. Now, when somebody walks around on the floor above, creating an impact on the floorboards, the person above will hear the impact on the floor, plus the airborne sound that that gives off, just like me hitting this drum skin. But the person below will hear the same original sound of the impact and the airborne noise, plus the sound then bouncing and echoing and amplifying through the cavity down to the bottom, like this. Now you can hear how the cavity of the drum 
has amplified the noise so much louder than that original noise. And a lot of people will have experienced this themselves in their own lives. Uh, when you walk around on a floor, it doesn't sound very loud to you, but when you're downstairs listening to someone else walk around on the floor above, it can sound like a herd of elephants, especially with kids running and jumping around. Now what we're gonna do is insulate the drum and do this again. Now we've filled the drum about 50 to 60% full with a 60 kilogram per meter cube acoustic mineral wool. And we're gonna try again. So as you can hear, you're still hearing the initial sound of hitting the top. You're hearing that airborne sound, but it's not resonating and amplifying anywhere near as much as it was before. Now, to further improve the sound reduction, what we wanna do is combine the mineral wool inside of the cavity with adding more mass onto the top of the structure and more resilience to cushion the initial impact. So if we had our SAMAT 3 Plus on the top and we do it again, this has reduced the sound by a huge amount because we've gotten rid of the amplification and the original sound. So where should mineral wool be used? Well, anywhere that you have a cavity space that can amplify the sound. The most common problem areas being timber, floor and ceiling cavities, as we've already discussed. And also internal stud walls, where you have basically plasterboard either side of a hollow stud frame. Again, these walls will act like a drum and should be insulated. I hope this has been interesting and helpful. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel if you want more informative soundproofing and acoustics content, or if you need any help or advice with your own soundproofing project or noise problem, please pick up the phone and give us a call, whether it's for floors, walls, or ceilings, domestic homes, or recording studios, we're here to help. Thank you.